So I have finally purchased a solid state drive for my computer, the Crucial MX500. And I thought to myself, why not use this opportunity to make a little guide on upgrading from a hard drive to an SSD. Okay, so it all starts off with opening up the computer. Now, my computer is a bit unusual, I do have to point that out, because it has this weird DIY computer case. But luckily, installing a solid state drive is almost exactly the same, regardless of, of the computer. It's a pretty straightforward process. So first of all, we need to connect the drive to our motherboard using a SATA cable. Now a SATA cable usually comes with motherboards and sometimes it comes with the solid state drive otherwise you just have to buy one separately. So one end just goes into a free port on the motherboard and the other end goes into the solid state drive. Then we need to find a free SATA power connector from the power supply and connect that one to our solid state drive as well. So a SATA power connector by the way can be recognized because it's very flat, it's a, it has a very flat shape you'll recognize it immediately. And most people would secure their SSD somehow or, you know, you know, mount it. Actually, I'm not even going to bother today because it's a solid state drive. It doesn't have any moving components. It's basically just a big memory card. So as long as it doesn't fly around and ruin other components, we can just cram it in a corner like this and call it a day. Okay, so now we're basically done with the physical installation. We can just close up the computer case and boot it up. Now, remember here that we are still booting it up from the old hard drive, so you, you're not going to notice anything now. You're not going to notice that the computer is faster, because of course the SSD is still empty. There's nothing on it. So when we've booted into the operating system, we need to download a piece of software called Acronis from Crucial's website. Um, and I believe, like, 90% of the SSDs that you can buy comes with a link to this piece of software and otherwise I think you can just download it even if you don't have one of those SSDs. Uh, so you open up that piece of software and it gives you a nice screen of options and then you just click the clone drive option then make sure you choose manual control because manual control is always good and then just follow the options that you desire for your use. Then at some point it will ask you to reboot the computer and you just click yes because that is necessary. And what it will do is it will shut down your computer and when it turns back on this screen will appear. All right, so the computer won't boot up into Windows, it will just show, show you this screen immediately. And then it will start cloning, so it will move all the stuff from the old hard drive onto the new SSD. Once it has completed, it will shut down the computer and the computer will be turned off at some point. So what are you going to do then? Well, then you want to boot up the computer and enter the BIOS. Do not let it boot up Windows, because then it will just boot up from the hard drive. So what we want to do is we've just moved, uh, we've moved everything to our new SSD. Now we actually want the computer to prioritize that SSD and boot up from it. So in the BIOS, this is different in every BIOS, so it will probably be in the manual of the computer or the motherboard, you just Google it. There will be options for adjusting the priority queue of booting up, and then you just set your SSD to number one, and then you save and exit. The computer will reboot, and it will now boot from the SSD, and that will be noticeable, okay? That will be fast. Okay, now that you're in, you can go ahead and use a third stage, but that's quite straightforward. You just right-click on your old hard drive, which will be still still be detected, and then just click Format and follow the options you get so that you can use it as extra storage. You do make sure, though, that all your files have been moved over properly first, right? Do that. It's important. Actually, I do recommend you back up everything before you do this entire thing. Even though I didn't do it and everything was all right, I do recommend you back up your files. Well, actually, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.